Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Game of the Week. We started this series off with a real fun run with culture, and then we did ourselves a real fun run with science, so why not make week three all about religion? And who, did, who better to do a religion victory with than Russia? Love Russia. So strong. So fun to play with. Uh, they have a special religious district that is very, very strong. Uh, really looking forward to doing this run. So uh, let's get right into it. And thank you for being here. Uh, as always, we're live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash normulator. And uh, I hope you guys can jump on over and say hello and uh, meet the fam. Let's go. Let's do this thing. So, uh, this is our start. Um, I went looking for a start this morning before uh, the stream, and this was literally the first roll we had that I got. So, you can't complain too much. Uh, it gives you a couple options. You could settle in other spots. We'll talk about that. Um, spice tiles. You love having spice tiles on your continent. Uh, anytime you got spice tiles on your continent, you know you're going to have a bunch of nice to start with. Uh, we do have some tundra to the north, which is nice. Uh, good old deer tile up there, which is great. Um, that will become a 1-3 tile because we get extra production uh, as well as faith from uh, our tundra tiles. So that's going to be fantastic. It's too bad it wasn't on a hill. Then it would become a really nice tile. But I still like it. Uh, also, we got horses, which is great. Uh, some nice tiles to work. Uh, some nice uh, stone in that. Some hills. Things are looking really good. I like this map a lot. Uh, discussing options for where else you could settle. Uh, the other two options I would say you have for settling is either the marsh or the stone. They would it would mean two uh, turn two settles, which I'm not a big fan of playing on DD, but I don't mind it if it means a really good uh, good spot. Uh, if you settled the two two stone, that would mean a two two city center, as opposed to here, which will lose the tree and that'll turn into a two one. Uh, if you settled the marsh, you'd be uh, moving more into the tundra which isn't bad with russia but um it doesn't really get you anything extra um it moves you further away from this stone and some of these hills which will be strong for the city um so yeah it's i feel like you know it, there's a good chance that we're gonna have some tundra up here we could actually have a tundra city there's this is gonna be a lake so there'd be fresh water here so if we move in that direction we could actually be taking ourselves out of the ball game for an extra city up here somewhere um, so I don't necessarily like that idea. And I don't necessarily think that this, the 2-2 two -two city center here is worth losing the turn, considering that we have where we are walking away from potential hills and stuff to use up here, uh, as well as who knows what these mountains are going to turn into for adjacencies. Um, I, I like, I like just settling, um, and that be that. Uh, before we make the final decision, I guess you would want to come and take a look at what's going on out here. There's more horses. Um, whoa, and a beautiful 3 3 spice. Hey, what's up, Boom? It wasn't showing on your list? Oh, that's brutal, buddy. You missed like the first 20 minutes. So much excitement that you just missed. Uh, so, uh, this is nice to find right out of the gate. And we love. We love Tundra Hills next to a river. Just love it. And how good is that tile right there? Um, immediately, you start thinking, okay, this is your city center for your second city. 2-2 two, two city center, 2-2 two, two horses, 2-2 two, two horses, and a 3-3 three, three spice. Not to mention this tile here as well. So that is looking like a very strong city there right out of the gate as a second city. Um, moving the stone here, you're just kind of cramming your cities together. And one thing you don't want to do as Russia is put your cities too close together because you have such a big advantage with your early border expansion by just plopping down the city that you don't want to put your cities too close together because you're losing some of the advantage uh, of that border sprawl that you can get so quickly. Um, I was I was like a minute late to the stream, okay? A minute. Uh, okay, so we really like the way this looks, for sure. Uh, this is definitely going to be our spot to settle. Um, another spice out here in the third ring. That's lovely. Um, we will, I think, we definitely we will work the spice tile to start. Um, getting that early growth is so strong. Uh, because we are going to get that early growth, we're going to be able to get into our settler. 
um, extremely quickly. Uh, we will, so we're going to go scout. That scout saying eight turns now because we've only got two production, but we'll be able to swing around in four turns and grab this three production tile. And that scout, I'm going to guess that scout is really a six turn scout. Uh, I'm guessing once we grow, that's going to go from four to two, uh, maybe four to three. But the growth is going to be fantastic. We'll be pop three so fast. Lots of good tiles to work. Um, so that's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're going to go scout right into a settler. And then by then, hopefully, uh, we'll be ready to plop down a uh, lavora. Um, lavora is... Um, well, you know what? Let's take a really quick look. Uh, I don't think I did this yet, have we? Um... So, some of the benefits of Russia, which are just fantastic. They're very, very strong. Uh, extra science and culture for trade routes to civilizations that are more advanced than us. That is extremely, extremely strong. Um, I really enjoy playing Russia for this as being one of their main uh, advantages. So, if you have a trade, especially when you're playing on deity on a high level difficulty, the deity is going to be ahead of you, particularly early on. And so, it allows you to just quickly get... like. It's all about getting caught up to the AI on Deity. And this just lets you get caught up to them that much faster. Because it's just a little bit extra science, a little bit extra culture for all your trade routes. It's just that little bit of a, uh, uh, a bump, you know? Um, so yeah, that's that's fantastic. Um, the rest of Russia, the Mother Russia, this is an extra territory upon founding cities. If they didn't even add the faith in, in production, it's still extra territory when you found the cities, it makes all of your cities great. Because there's going to be two or three nice tiles within that range that it's going to grab, right? Um, the faith in the production makes it so that they're a much more viable civilization when in the area uh, of Tundra, which they tend to be with their bias. So uh, that's fantastic. That's a second very, very strong ability. Uh, the third very strong ability is the Lavra, a district unique to Russia for religious activity, replaces the Holy Site District and cheaper to build. Cheaper to build is the key there. On Deity in particular, getting a religion can be tough if you don't get right after it. Uh, being able to get the Holy Site built even faster just means that much quicker to your uh, your great profit points in getting yourself a religion. Um, and also just having your cities uh, grow by a tile every time a great person expended in the city uh, once you have that Lavra. So that's, again... You're getting extra tiles immediately. Um, so you're immediately getting... You're, before long, once you get a, a, a monument in your city, you're almost to a, a full two-tile range on your city. Then every time you start dropping in great people, which you get very quickly as Russia, you're just grabbing the third ring. And you just your borders are massive so quickly. Fantastic. That means you're not spending gold on tiles as well. That's extremely important to think about as well. Uh, so that's very good. Uh, their special unit... It's a good unit if you're going military. It the spe all the special unit really does, as far as Russia is concerned, is um, it makes them viable on all four win conditions because they have a strong early-ish, mid, kind of mid-game, I guess. They're a replacement for cavalry. So they're kind of a mid-game, uh, strong mid-game unit. So like if you wanted to, you know, take to arms and, and, and go for a military victory or at least use military to help advance your other victory conditions... Um, it, it makes them so that they can pretty much do anything. Uh, so that's them. And we love it. So, there we go. Uh, technology. We do need to get astrology, of course. Um, so it's 20 turns to astrology. You gotta hope that you can find a natural wonder, which will take a lot of turns off that, of course. Uh, also, animal husbandry and, and mining will be good here as well. Um... So what I what I tend to want to do because I'm going to go for a second city before I build a couple of Lavras, um, I like the idea of grabbing one of these first and giving myself a little bit more time to find that natural wonder. Uh, I think in this case, animal husbandry maybe, because uh, it does give us the ability to build a camp here if we want, as well as the horses will all be able to have an improvement. We also have the mining, so either one would do it. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the animal husbandry. Uh, right out of the gate, and then we'll push for the Labra. <clears throat> yeah, the Cossacks are very good as well. Spivy, can we play a round together? I mean, like, right now, as I'm recording for YouTube videos, that you want to play, like, right now? Check the title, bud. 
Um, okay, so it's time for next turn. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's the game of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for being here. Uh, go ahead and grab that goody hut. Early Empire. Not necessarily the boost you're looking for. Uh, as... Um, we're, we're not going to have much trouble getting to pop six so early empire boost but what are you going to do next turn the attitude right uh let's see cross to the river let's try and get to that river as it continues along ninja moose how are you buddy to see ya. Boom, you come here for the OP strats. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it. Hello there. Mahenjo Dero, they're water, right? Housing from water? Yeah. That's not actually that bad as Russia because it gives us the option that we could actually settle like some um it would allow us to possibly settle along the ocean in the tundra maybe and it's still got fresh water uh it's really actually not that bad in certain circumstances although we do have a lot of rivers and stuff around so <clears throat> to, uh, maybe you maybe you two do uh, let's keep following this river. Uh, a lot of times, you'll you'll see um, city states grouped in like groups of two or three. They just tend to kind of be grouped. So it's always nice if you find one and you see some rivers to try and just check out what else is on those rivers. See if you haven't got a shot. Uh, you're good. I'm about to chill with you playing Civ. Yes, Eve. Um, Playing some EU4, yeah, you love you love your EU4. You got like four thousand hours in that game, yeah. Um, that's a great game though. I want to get back into playing some more of that game for sure. Um, uh, let's step on a hill here, see what we're looking at. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sounds like a lot of people are having issues with their internet today. It's kind of funny. Might be the one. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got to pop two, and then, yeah, so we've got the four one and the one five or one three. Just so you imagine a one five, a one three. So you can see here the scout is going to be done on turn seven, which is nice. Um, and we'll probably head that scout down this river here. See what we're looking at. Um, going to the settler, and finally on to uh, our, la our labras. All right, there we go. I'd like to see that. Uh, you, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to switch to a different, uh, internet profile to download from Twitch. You should be able to downgrade. If you can't, then I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, another con- Did we- I think we found another- Did we feed, see two continents now? I, I- I forgot to see that there real quick. Um, yeah, we did. Because this is a new continent here, and so this is- Okay. Um, that's very interesting to see. Um... Also, we should check out our loyalty lens really, really quickly. And, oh, so these guys, uh, that's, what's her name, right? Uh, the lady that likes the desert brain fart. <laughs> Cleopatra, jeez. Uh, okay, so we like the goodie hut, and Cleopatra's down here. I, I, that makes me kind of feel like maybe I double back Cleopatra. Although I did get first meet on them. Cleopatra's in here, so if there's something in there, a lot of rough terrain there. We'll see what's going on. Uh, 
Oh, it's that work when you like it. Yeah, but there could be issues with Twitch as well. Maybe they're having issues with connections to individuals. That's his best. All right. Home. Do civic open civics tree. Uh, we always like to go foreign trade early empire. Gets us to our um, uh, production towards settlers card. Of course, if you're going military, you got you need to go craftsmanship. It's fine. Uh, policy slot. Also, don't forget we got a lot more culture now too. Um, that extra culture is going to push us through the tree much quicker as we got the first meet. Uh, first meets are OP. Discipline uh, for barbarians. Uh, pretty much always the one I go for. Um, not really any circumstance under which I do survey. And even though I am getting faith uh, right now from that one tile, I, I really want to make sure I get to a good pantheon here since we are going religion. So uh, I'm going to go God King and it'll get us there real quick and give us a much better chance of getting the one we like. So go ahead and grab that. Yeah, a, a lot of times, if I was playing any anybody else, really, for the most part, if if unless there's a really significant pantheon I want to get for a particular run, um, that can be hard to get. Typically, it's going to be Goddess of Harvest. Um, then I'll use, I'll get even extra more faith on top of that. But in this case, I, I read there's a particular, I, I really do want to get that. So even though I'm getting some religion from my tiles, I'm also going to try and pull down some extra that as well. Uh, Spiffy, that's going to be a hard no, bud. That's going to be a hard no. Uh, I have a very firm schedule of what I do uh, every week, and I typically schedule multiplayer games with uh, subscribers of the, to the channel, uh, and it typically happens on a Friday. Um, and it's, yeah, not every single week, but it, it happens uh, with long-term time, uh, long time subscribers and friends of the channel. Uh, bo 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 All right. Uh, what are we at here? Na 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 na. So you stay. What do they want? They want a trade route. Yes, they do want a trade route. Yeah. Good evening, Grandpa. How are you? All right. Next turn. Horses. See what that. I am fond of pigs. Animal husbandry. Then we will go straight into astrology, which is at 16 turns. We are eight turns from our settler. Uh, so. <laughs> Boom. Gifting a sub to Spiffy. Not sure what that was, boom, but thank you very much. Yeah, he was leaving. He, he's like, well, if you're not going to play with me, then I'm leaving. And then boom's like, here's the sub. Thank you, boom, for that. I appreciate it. And uh, Spiffy, wherever you are. <laughs> um. Okay, some open area over here. Uh... Mostly flat land, but there are some hills there. Uh, some horses and some pastures and stuff, which is nice. Uh, potential lumber mills. Even looks like some hills here. So this is actually really nice. There's even some stone. Actually some nice land there. Hopefully there's a fair amount of tundra to the north. Uh, which will be good for us as the Russians. Um, let's step on this hill and just see what we're looking at here. Uh, so a potential Petra city for sure. Only problem with that is, like we saw before, somewhere right about here is uh, a lovely Cleopatra. And so it's, I mean, did the chances of me getting all the way out there before they grab something, being able to hold it through is slim. Uh, that does look like a beautiful Petra city. It even looks like the Petra, the hills, it even looks like it's desert continuing on the other side of the river, so... Yeah, there, there's definitely a fantastic opportunity there for somebody, but it probably won't be me, fortunately. If it was a little bit closer, if it was like over here, Petra all day. All day. Air day. Okay. Uh, bingo and bango. We are 16 turns away from the Lavra. Population is going up. Eight turns. Would be nice to grab uh, the Eureka to said. Uh, Research 
but by the time we get our second settler over there, build two Labras. Um, once we get two Labras with shrines going, all kinds. Uh, also, take a look at this. Uh, that might actually be our Labra location as well. There's two hills, there's forests. Um, too bad there wasn't a forest there to make it a little bit better, but that's a plus three Labra right there. Um, we could potentially go Lavra Campus, like that, and that'd still be a plus three Lavra, and then even another district out here, even to give another adjacency, possibly. Uh, also, for wonders, there's certain wonders that we're gonna want to get um, adjacency to the Lavra will be good, a potential location for uh, for that. We'll have to see, but yeah, that that's a possibility. It uh, looks like. Um, looks like that's a mountain in there just on the graphics it looks like it's a mountain in the middle so yeah I, no i don't think it is a plus six canvas i don't think it is honestly don't i think that's going to be a mountain just based on the graphics you can kind of see that tile has already got mountain looking graphics on it uh and even on this side you can see it a little bit as well uh could you imagine though right if it'd be a, if anything it'd be a plus six labra i'd be throwing in there but uh yeah other options for districts would be out here. Um, I guess technically I could just put a Lavra here. Campus, or sorry, even Lavra Campus Commercial Hub. Something like that. That would be a plus three. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that options. Uh, maybe go to the south of the lake. That. And grab our next turn. Yes, Korea gets that really nice uh, campus. As long as you don't put other districts next to it, it's fantastic. Um, I kind of want to... This river keeps going this way. I kind of want to stick close to the tundra. Um, and just kind of... just that whole line here and then see what's going on you know give, that, give the option and have this warrior head back this way uh unit needs orders back around that lake five turns on the settler oh boy uh Get to that get to that hill and see what we're looking at kind of unusual that we haven't met anybody other than i guess we know uh looks like a military city state right here right so maybe a first meet wouldn't be bad the military first meets aren't the greatest but it does help you build your units a little bit faster in your capital as an added bonus uh that is scary that is very scary simultaneously let's head back in general direction it is a first meet fantastic hmm yosemite valley to me is always a sunrise a glitter of eh. green and yosemite's not bad it's extra science edifice. um if there's good tiles then that's great <laughs> Some hills and stuff, it's not bad. Uh, assuming there's tundra somewhere close by. Um, but that gives us our boost. Uh, natural wonder, so five turns away on that. Three turns on the settler. I'm gonna have to make a decision on where to put that labra. Uh, how big does the lake need to be before you consider building new units? <laughs> uh, has to be an ocean. <laughs> It has to cease being a lake and commence being an ocean. Nice petro too. Yeah, there's three petro hills. Chat. They see they see hills of the desert variety, and it's immediately. <gasps> Every nation Considering one of those hills would have to be taken up, building pet. Oh wait, no, you can't. You have, because petro has to be on flat ground, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so we got lucky there, and they still haven't seen the city. Hopefully, they take off.
Yeah, using them for the chops is not a bad idea. Using the card, the hundred percent card, not a bad idea to build your mil uh, naval units just by using the card. Getting ch uh, so especially if you're going into uh, production of wonders, right, to get that big carryover. Otherwise, it's a waste of time to build the naval units. Get overflow production into something you can. Uh, I, I want to keep going this way, try and find a coast or another sieve, but I think going north of the here is going to be allowing me to move quicker. Uh, there's a pretty solid tile there. Uh, <laughs> it's going to get, we're going to get slowed down. Did we get the first meat on that? Yes, first, okay, first meat, first to discover. Uh, I'm not, this isn't great. I'm not, the tundra looks like it's kind of run out. I'm not sure what's going on there, but the tundra leg has gone out. But I'm gonna keep going this way. Um, good. Try and keep a move on here. Uh, now that's interesting. Um, you could almost say, especially with Mahenjo Daro, and if we're their suzerain, we get fresh water as if next to a river. If we were to settle that, that's a 2-2 city center. Um, not a lot of growth, unfortunately, which isn't great. But um, maybe we've got some growth tiles out here, but that's pretty nice looking right there. Yeah, silence tiles for days, right? Um, we did hear a... Oh, I think that's it right there. Okay. We still have this one here, as long as that guy didn't discover us, which he hasn't. Gets out of the way a little bit. I am on my way back with the warrior. We haven't taken a look at the settler lens in a while, which is just kind of a mistake. Oh, potential meat right here. Those there's going to be either a city or a city state right there. Uh, one turn on the Settler, three turns on the Lavra. Decisions are going to have to be made very shortly. Uh, no question, we're going to move to... That's going to be the spot right there. I'll even, I'll even put a pin in it so you guys can see our destination. Bada bing, bada boom. Not, there's no mountains, and... Minimal trees, so the adjacency is going to be tricky for this city, for a lavra. Maybe we nestle it in with these trees here. Is this that's rainforest or trees? That tile, trees, I think, right? Yeah. So we could put it there, and there's two forests. Uh, we we'll maintain the forest here. We'll be maintaining that with a lumber mill. So that's actually not a bad spot for the lavra. Uh, that'll be a plus one. Then we could get another district around it to get a plus two that's not terrible um uh difficult search yeah that's a good point grab I, I i know that's a yeah petra and saint basil is required saint basil would be fantastic you're saying I, I need you're saying that as chat you're speaking for chat saying that both are required to be built Is that what you're saying we're gonna be able to build our laver in two um slinger in three kind of sounds like a decent idea actually to me trader would be nice in four um but i do like the idea of slinger in three here But also just pump three turns into the monument. But I do like the idea of Slinger in three, just for a little bit more defense while we're building our Labra and our Shrine in that. Uh, yeah, loyal. so if you're on the Settler Lens, uh, if you haven't physically met them, then the loyalty numbers don't show up. So it could easily be a civilization. Although my guess is if it was a civilization, they'd have a unit out here roaming around. GM! The game mechanic. Thank you very much. Coming in hot. 
YouTube, you're going to have to excuse me for one minute while I shout this wonderful gentleman out. Um, both... Twitch and YouTube should be aware of this gentleman. He does both things, just like I, Civ 6 styles. Uh, great to have you here. What up? Thank you very much for that, buddy. Good to see you. There's the shout out. I think everyone here probably knows him very, very well, so they don't need to. But if you have not, there's the button. Click it. Get your butt over there. Drop him a follow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the black, the black box, black box. I think. Thank you very much for the fall. Appreciate it. Welcome. We're just getting started here on a Monday afternoon, and we're dropping the YouTube vid recording as we speak. Uh, and we're moving. Ooh, hello there. That could be a plus three. I don't think it is. Uh, this guy is still moving over there. You are. Edge. Hopefully next turn we meet whatever's there. I'm, I'm guessing it is a city-state because you would think you'd have met uh, civilization if they had a civilization that would have units somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, growth and Slinger in three. We'll be able to start our Labras uh, right after that. Problem. Uh, slingers? You suck. I think I am going to go ahead and take a hit on that. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, yes, it will. That's weird how it did that. I was like, why wouldn't it let me? I only have to move two. We'll go ahead and get a great big old hit on the Slinger. Uh, first hit on the range units is always nice. And it's going to be a culture. The question is, is it going to be a first meet? Whew. Nope. Damn it! Oh, well. So somebody's met them. Uh, you always a really good strategy if you uh, meet a city state and you weren't first meet. Always a good idea to check your loyalty lens and see what's going on. And it is the Romans! Somewhere right about there, the Romans are present. I know, right? Kumasi, so strong. Kumasi. Those of you wondering, plus two culture and plus one gold for every, uh, whatchamacallit, to a city state trade route. That's what I'm talking about. Um, very strong, very very strong. Uh, if you're if you're a fan of sending trade routes to city states, in this case we won't be doing a culture victory, so it actually is quite uh, prohibitive to, uh, or it's less prohibitive to send your trade routes to a city state because in a culture game you want to send them to other civilizations to increase tourism. Ba, ba, ba. Let's see. Whatever, man. In this. Whatever. Okay, so. Uh, it looks like I, I would definitely be able to take an out hit from this guy, no problem. We want to get this thing cleared before this guy does. Monday! Thank you. Monday biddies. Thank you, Brums. Uh, we're going to step on that guy right there. Get that thing out. Hit the air score. It was only two. If, I, if I'd had this settled, I think it might have been three, but I didn't want to take a chance. So, boom, boom, boom. That was also an envoy for the Carthagians. Uh, not that we really need it. We're not going to be building a military district, so having more than that from them is not really that big of a deal. Um, other than possibly if we were to earn another one before somebody else had earned one with them that would possibly become their first suzerain, and get a couple of score out of it. Uh... Yeah, and that's a very yeah, it's a very good point, Boom. With Russia, you're not going to want to send trade routes to other civilizations or to city states uh, early in the game uh, because you'll want to get the bonus science and culture. But later in the game, once we're kind of more caught up, then you would have the option of sending those trade routes to uh, city states. But yeah, it's a good point. As Russia, you don't you want to send to, you want to send your trade routes to. Uh, Okay, so there's astrology. You want to send your trade routes to uh, other civilizations, absolutely. Particularly ones who are ahead of you. Very well put, Boom. As we spoke earlier about the same concept, very important to do that. So let's get moving this way. Uh, let's take another quick look at our settler lens, just to get an idea of what um, Rome might be up to. Uh, looks like... Okay. 
Uh, they're like right here, and I would like to get a city here. So I am thinking our second city, as soon as we got our labras and stuff built, we really kind of want to get a city coming and going this way. A couple cities here, actually. We're going to want to probably settle the olives and then maybe settle... I don't know. In here. Maybe one... Well, I don't... I don't there's no point in settling a stone because then you get too much up on a hill. Probably something in here. Maybe even one of those battles. So... Uh, looks like there's uh, a really nice campus or, well, labyrinth. So we'll discuss that later. Hey, Brahms. Um, yeah, Brahms, hello to, how do you, hello to you. Let's see Get that kill. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm feeling like I want to go this way and see what's going on with this. That guy. Uh, it's time to throw down the lava. Four turns on the lava. Like I said earlier, cheaper to build Holy Sight is extremely strong in getting your religion. Uh, but we do have to discuss our, uh, adjacencies. Not sure I really want to use up this Tundra Tile down here. Because I'm not, it's going to be a three, but that's all it's really going to be. Um... That being said, it would open up a, an allocation to build potentially one of the uh, religious wonders adjacent to the holy site. So that's a possibility as well. Although we could always just throw it next to the deer. We could eat the deer in the tree and build the wonder there. And still have the two trees there, as well as the mountains. Uh, but we lose this tree if we were to build the campus there. Uh, other option would be to put the campus... A commercial hub there and maybe like a theater square or something like that and let's leave the holy site sitting out there on its own for the plus three. i think that might be the spot uh sirdom thank you very much and welcome in thank you very much for the follow buddy i appreciate it uh yeah i think that might be the spot for the holy site and then we could do other adjacencies here some farming out there um yeah Maybe, and then maybe like a wonder here, like maybe Forbidden City or something like that. I don't know. Uh, shoes of the door, make yourself at home is right, Brahms. Shoes of the door, make yourself at home. Uh, yeah. Does anybody have any objections to going with it there? It, it's pretty much the same thing. It's going to be a plus three here or a plus three there. Uh, the only thing over here is you have to negotiate your, uh, your trees a bit more carefully. Whereas over here, it's just a raw three easily. Plus over here, yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it over here because over here, it, you're not gonna have a spot to put a wonder next to the to the. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right there. Plus it's a three right out of the gate, which will be era score, um, which currently we do need. That. And meet the Romans. Look at these follows coming in here. Yabo! Yeah, boy? Yeah, boy! Of course, it's your boy. Yeah, boy, smiles. I'm back at you, buddy. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I've been talking a lot, so we haven't made... Yeah, that was a mountain, by the way. Uh, there's our Pantheon. Please. Yes, it is. Goddess of the Harvest is OP. You want it all the time in your life. Uh, and we're going to found our second city. Shablamo. Um, seven turn Lavra. I do believe this is going to be the spot. It's a plus one there. We can make it a plus two with an adjacency of another district. Uh, I think there's no question. You could put it over here, but I'm going to want to chop all this down, whereas both of these will stay. No question to me that this is a spot for the Lavra in a city without mountains. So, bada bang, bada boom. In seven turns, we'll have two Lavras. Currently, great profits are not being earned at all. So we're in very good shape there. Uh, of course, Dango Boom can rest assured that the strats have prevailed. Strats have prevailed, ladies and gentlemen. Can I name that shitty Shablamo? <laughs> Done. Just for you, Ninja Moose. Shablamo. Just because it's a fantastic idea. What's going on? Where do you do it? I almost never do this. Oh, 
That's 40 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck do you name a city? Info card? There it is. Shablamo. Is that how you want to spell it? Shablamo, just like that? There. Done. Shablamo. It's going to be a good city, too. It's got some really nice tiles. Uh, right out of the gate, we're working a 3-3. And we got some 2-2 tiles to go as well. Ladies and gentlemen, episode 1 is in the books for Peter of Russia, the one for religion. It's the game of the week. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Leave some comments below on what you think. And, uh, of course, like if you did.